Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Midweek Minutes. This past Sunday, we continued our study in the book of Philippians, and the title of the message was, Move On. The passage was taken from Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 16. Let me read it for you. I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things, or that I have already reached perfection, but I keep working toward that day when I will finally be all that Christ Jesus saved me for and wants me to be. No, dear brothers and sisters, I am still not all I should be, but I am focusing all my energies on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I strain to reach the end of the race and receive the prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us up to heaven. I hope all of you who are mature Christians will agree on these things. If you disagree on some point, I believe God will make it plain to you, but you must be sure to obey the truth you have already learned. Move on. You know, let me give you an example of moving on. Years ago when we had Hurricane Wilma, it was manic. I mean, people were losing electricity, the gas lines were hours long. I remember one time I stood in line for gas for over four hours. And so, you know what I decided to do? I decided to move on. I drove to Orlando, yep, Orlando, which is almost three hours away to get gas. And I was able to drive to Orlando, get gas and make it back to South Florida before some people who were in line to get gas was able to get gas here locally. So I learned how to move on. You know, the first point from Sunday's message was, in Christ, there is always more. There's always an upgrade. And who doesn't love an upgrade? Imagine when you rent a car and the midsize that you um, reserve isn't available. So they upgrade you to the full size or maybe even the premium. You know, that same trip, I got an upgrade. I decided during Hurricane Wilma to take my family and move on. You know why? My wife was eight months and three weeks pregnant with my son Austin. And being in a house with no electricity in the South Florida weather with a pregnant wife, not fun at all. So I decided to spend a week in a hotel in Orlando. And when we got there, we got an upgrade. We had a huge suite. It overlooked the city and it was a fabulous thing. And we paid the same regular room rate. So we were able to get that upgrade. And we all love an upgrade. And why was I able to get that upgrade? Well, our second point um, from Sunday is that when you look toward the future God has for you, you can put the past in the past. So we didn't wallow in our condition of being out of electricity. We were thankful that we didn't get harmed, that our home wasn't. Um, badly damaged and I decided to use my resources and take my family up north and to get a hotel room and that was because I had the mentality that God has something better in store for me and I let the past be the past now we have been rescued from a horrible past we have been rescued if you're a believer from eternal damnation and now we have eternal life with our savior and we're not there yet this side of glory perfection is not ours to have you see we won't get perfection until glorification but in the process of sanctification it's about direction are you moving on in the right direction like the apostle paul says i'm working hard towards what christ has saved me to be now our last point on Sunday is that we have to follow the truths we already know and then seek God for what we don't you see that's how we move on we picked up some things along the way we know right from wrong 
We know we're not to kill, we're not to steal. We know the things that we're not to do. And so we have to act on those so we're able to learn more and allow God to transform us into who he wants us to be. Remember, that upgrade is always there. There's always more in Christ. No matter what your life is now, there is better here on earth. And then ultimately, there is perfection when we reach glory. So I encourage you, work hard to move on. Put the past in the past. Act on what you know and seek God for what you need to learn. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Midweek Minutes. And I hope to see you again next week. Goodbye for now.